it's mega base time we need to build our mega base this is episode 24 of my survival let's play and we need to build our mega base now i've already gone into creative and made a mega base idea for us but you're not allowed to see that next uh yet sorry um because we are going to build the first part of it anyway in today's episode and we need to do it because i've been putting it off for a bit because i didn't have an idea but now i've got an idea i built it in a creative world i found out what i'm gonna do and i'm ready to build all right so the materials we're gonna need for this um, bottom part of the base is more or less just deep slates it's lots of deep slates but we also need a little bit of not that one this no this one we need a lot of smooth basalt and i don't think that's enough smooth basalt but you can't get much of it so i might have to use just normal basalt in it but i also found out that well after making the big base in creative that i use so so much warped uh, warped um wood so i've got a, a little bit of one lot a little bit this is a lot of bit of warped but i'm gonna need much more than that i've also been doing a lot of other um resource gathering for other materials that we're gonna need but I think it's time we get into the building. Okay, here we are in the mega base plan. So what we want to do for this mega base is quite unique actually. I've not seen it done before. But I want to do a massive spire that goes up. It's like a big tower with um like this. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. It might be like a waterfall, it might be something else. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in this outer ring. And then tons of biomes coming out of this outer ring. And I think it's gonna look really cool because I've already built up the spire in creative and I've got a plan for it so what we want to build is basically um using these two shulker boxes it's gonna be like a gradient that goes up really tall of um a deep slate base so i think it's about time that we get to it and i don't think i'm gonna have enough basalt which is not good let's get through there let's get to it though Okay, we've got the first layer of basalt. So the basalt is going to be the proper ba a base of the build. And what we've done here is it's um, if we go just fully up, oh, nope, bah, fully up, it's just a proper circle, right? It's just a circle, um, like pro a properly made circle. Um, but then I've got these like crumbled bits, I guess, that come off the side where it, there's long parts. But now it's time to build the actual tower up a bit. So we're going to take a lot of the steep slates and start our base. So we want to get it all on the same level. So let me do that quickly. And then we got to get the gradients at like getting up, I guess. used all of our smooth basalt up making this nice little gradient and I think it's coming along quite nice actually and now we're going on to the other gradient which is um, from deep that uh, cobble deep slates um, into so we're going to turn all that into proper uh, deep slate bricks and then we got to go from cobble deep slates to deep slate bricks <laughs> So this entire circle is exactly one stack all around. Oh wow, I fell. Yeah, that was really cool. I created a stack of deep slate and um, tiles and it made an exact circle around with a stack. Alright, um, so I think we can all agree that this is a very boring build at the moment. It's just a little deep slate stump really. That is why we're introducing a new block which I happen to have not taken with me. But yes, um, so far we've just got this little deep slate stump, which looks quite nice, but it's, it's a nice for a deep slate stump, but it's not nice in terms of anything else. So we're gonna pack away the deep slate for now. Actually, no, we do need a bit more deep slate. I love my deep slates, all right. Uh, we make some more blocks. Oh crap, I made red dye. All right, um, we made some more deep slate tiles because we're gonna need them uh, in a little bit. 
But yeah, we need a new block and I'm going to get there right now and I'm going to show you the build when it's ready with this new block. Now it's not going to make a big difference, but it's going to make it a bit, that, a slight bit more interesting. I can't get my way inside there. All right. We that. Okay, here it is. So we've added two stripes of ice and then extended the top a bit more. So this is the uh, the end of the first layer. This is the deep slate layer. And then it gets much more colourful, much more um, like, well, cooler, I guess. So, um, yeah, what we've done is basically we've got a tower of deep slate. It's just a, a simple circle. Gone up and put some uh, stripes on it. And also in the creative world, I made it out of blue ice. But I forgot how ridiculously expensive blue ice is to create. If I took all of my blue ice um, that I had, uh, all of my packed ice, which is what I've built it out of, um, all of it that I own, all of it that I gathered for resources, I would have a total and grafted it into blue ice. I would have a total of two stacks of blue ice, which means that if I got all, all of my packed ice that I own, made it into blue ice, I would just have enough to make this. And um, as you can probably guess, there's much more blue ice in the rest of the build. So um, I'm not going to make it out of blue ice, and I'm going to make it a slightly less opaque, not opaque, um, saturated, but still very nice packed ice. But this is still a very boring um, little circle thingy and before we get into the um, big like uh, second floor or second layer I should say because I don't think we're gonna do floors in this I need to make this much more interesting because this is very boring and for that we need warped wood which is where I'm going right now because when I was back getting ice I forgot to get oh, um, warped as well all right this is a very back and two I should probably just bring my entire base with me Okay, so this is going to take a lot of back and two with a screenshot because it's quite complicated. So we're going to do this part off camera because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on video because it's going to be a lot of back and forth between the screenshots. Um, it's also going to be probably a lot of the shulker boxes. It won't look nice in the uh, time lapse. So yeah, uh, you're just going to see how it looks after it's finished. Alright, it's the next day in real life because there was an, another material that I forgot that I used a lot in this build. A lot, a lot, a lot. In fact, there was this build, um, not build, this material that's so annoying to gather because, well, yeah, it's annoying to gather and to smelt and everything. Yes, I decided to use copper in this build and a lot of copper. So, um, it's been, it's the next day in real life because I've gathered a lot of copper to make this build. Well, actually, I've not gathered a lot of copper, but I have built what I said I would build and I are we ready? Boom. All right, hear me out, hear me out. The copper will oxidize, and once it's oxidized, it will look really, really nice. So for now, we're stuck with this orange weird texture, texture, but I'm sure once the copper oxidized, uh, it oxidizes to look very blue, bluey green, like that color, it will look really nice. But what we've done is we've added these ex oh, uh, we've added these extensions on the side to give the thing more shape instead of, it's kind of like a star now. It was a circle, now it's kind of like a star. And we've also lined it with this um, copper, so hopefully this will oxidize fast. But I have a feeling we're going to be stuck with this orange color for a bit. Alright, and now it's time for the second layer, which if I remember correctly the next layer is very heavy in warped and copper so uh, we're gonna do some of that building now all right yeah I've also got this wall of furnaces in fact we've kind of got a little base in here while I'm building it so this, I'll make a proper smelter sometime but for now we've got this very nice um, thingy magic so now we've got to build the second layer of this building so I think we should go to do that right now the, this layer will go up to level 99, it will be this tall, this layer, up to here. So we got to go, wee because everything is stripped in this one, so it's going to be this tall. Alright, so this is the first wall in, well, kind of. So I found out that there's another material that I for some reason put in this build, which I don't even know if I can get. It's dark prismarine, and I do not have a guardian farm. So I think how you make dark prismarine is you get normal prismarine shards from guardians and ink. So if that's the case, I should be able to next episode go into a 
um, Elder Guardian Temple uh, Ocean Monument and then get something. But for now, it's going to have to stay empty like that. Those That gap there is where the dark prismarine goes. But anyway, um, I've not put the copper in yet because there's more like this copper there that goes around. But this is the first wall, which I think looks very nice. So obviously there's other towers carrying up on, every, on all four sides. And also the thing stretches around. Um, so I think this looks very nice, this kind of blue wall. And I'm going to carry it around all the way around and waste all my resources. So um, when you see me next, I hopefully will have the second layer in complete. All right, we've done a lot of building since the last pass. Yes, if I turn around, well, I'm going to do that right now. Boom. So we've built that top layer and I think it looks very, very nice. So obviously the copper looks very weird. So I hope that this will oxidize quickly and turn to the nice green. We also need to get that dark prismarine because it looks very weird. But there's also some more colors that we need to add because at the moment it's blue and black, that's it. So I want to add some purple with purple stained glass. So purple and anoth... Uh, purple and anoth... Why can't I say it? Purple and amethyst will be added now. So what I want to do is, um, I think we go, in fact, I'm going to check the screenshots. I'm not sure if I'm doing it properly. But Okay, so I think what we want to do is we want to go like this, all on the copper with the purple stained glass. Because what we're doing is a band of am amethyst so that we can get different colours in this build. So, um, yeah, is it like that? It's very confusing, to be honest, because, yeah. <laughs> um, I've built the entire thing in creative and I have to rebuild it in survival block for block. So it's quite hard, to, if I've got to be honest. I keep having to check the screenshot to make sure. I don't even know if the creative one is fully right. I have feelings that it's off-censored, but I don't think it is because I did measure it. But I, it looks a bit weird, so I don't know. I feel like this happens every time I build a big tower. So, all right, we've done the band of purple stained glass. Now we have to put amethyst around it. So, um, the, so this is, uh, there are only two parts in this entire build that the purple comes up. And it's this part with the amethyst and a bit further up, which won't be in this episode. Um, so I, uh, I don't think I will have enough amethyst altogether, but hopefully, well, for now I will, because uh, this is just a small part of amethyst. But, um... Uh, there will be much more amethyst later on. So this tower is around 90 blocks tall in the end, so it's quite substantial to be honest, uh, overall, and I think it looks very nice. It's also very, very heavy in copper while you go, uh, like the further up you go, the higher density of copper there is. So there it took us a stack of one, one there. And with that, we've finished our first thing in the mega base. So obviously, well, okay, I think it's time I just show you the big tower because um, or because I've built it in creative and I need to copy it into survival and that's very hard. So I want you to know what I am trying to build now and what it will look like in the end. So this is my world survival mega base, which is where I'm building the mega base before so we can see if everything will look fine in the real one. All right, here we are. And this is the build in its uh, in creative. Let me get it to be, boom. Okay, so th this is what we've just built here, the amethyst row, I guess. So that's what it looks like. And I think I've done a big a good job in the survival world. So th um, what's weird is it does kind of look lopsided if uh, for some reason, doesn't it? It kind of looks a bit like, it's not censored which is scary but i don't know i don't know if it's um like that or not so this is how it will look in the end once everything's oxidized and we've built so we've basically built a bit over a bit under half so we've got the, we've built that and then there's that to do but as you can see there's this column of ice there's and this one with a big radiance with tons of random blocks so overall and a massive copper roof so i'm not looking forward to how much copper i'm going to need to gather for this build so this is what we're going to be building in this survival world 
and um, they, it's going to come over the next few episodes. So I think we've done a lot of building for today's episode and we will carry on doing some more next episode along with another project. We'll do two different things tomorrow, not tomorrow, next episode. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you enjoy my content, subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ow.